Hi, this is Gaurav Gehloth from quickdevnotes.com and in this video we will be looking at an, a tightly coupled application. We will also try and understand what are the problems that we face while unit testing or trying to maintain a, such an application. So let me tell you about the application first. This is a very basic application which simply takes an order which is a customer order and the whole logic lies inside the commerce class. This commerce class processes our order. So the order right now is uh, uh, some hard coded data which has a product name, quantity and some unit price. In this ap whole application we are not uh, right now using any sort of database or backend services. It's a very simple application and uh, the output of this application is very simple. It just notifies the customer whether the payment for this order was successful or the payment was a failure. So that's it. Very, very simple application. So. Be, suppose I'm not of uh, I don't have any idea about uh, dependency injection I'm not very sure uh, how the dependencies work and uh, what are the uh, the drawbacks of tightly coupling an application so this is how some something how I would have developed this application in my main I in the in the program class I have my main method and I have a customer order which is some hard-coded value and my whole logic lies inside the commerce class so let's go to our commerce class yep so the commerce class ha is having this method process order which takes an order and just does some processing but if you notice there is uh, these three components that this commerce class is using which is a credit card processor which processes our payments now we are not supporting uh, cash payments or uh, let's say debit card payments or any other mode of payment we notify a customer using an email notifier we send an email and uh, which says like the payment was successful or it was a failure due to some technical errors and if there is a technical error we log it using our text logger so basically we the commerce clause is uh, depending on these three components and if you notice we are creating the instances of these dependencies inside the constructor of the commerce class which means whenever I create an instance of the commerce class I will be creating new instances for these dependencies each and every time okay let's move ahead now in the process order method I'm checking on the amount which uh, the unit price into quantity very simple calculation and now you can see that my credit card processor is using its method for processing the payment and if we go inside the method yep so right now I'm not doing any sort of processing it's just some hard value hard coded return values and the payment processor that which means my credit card processor is itself you having a dependency on the currency converter so right here we have a dependence say okay this is a multi-level dependency so what does me what this means is our commerce class is depending on the credit card processor and this credit card processor itself is depending on the currency converter what this means is that whenever we are going to create an object of a commerce class we will create an object of credit card processor because of this line and whenever this line will be triggered we will be creating an instance of currency converter also so we have a chained reaction right here now the method is very simple let's go back to our commerce class and uh, if suppose if the payment is successful we notify our customer that the payment was successful using an email notifier and if the payment was uh, a failure then we notify the customer in the same way and we also log our errors so what is the problem with this application uh, as of now we don't see much of it because it's very basic application application doing nothing much but suppose for let's say tomorrow I don't want to use credit card process I want to add a new functionality that uh, now I would like to process payments in two ways be it one is credit card processor and other one be like uh, debit card or cash payment which means 
I will have to do something like similarly to the credit card processor and I will be creating a new object of that uh, debit card processor or let's say a cash payment processor which is uh, uh, you know like we are adding a new level of dependency to the commerce class we are adding new dependencies to it we are making it more and more tightly coupled which is very, really bad so that was only about just coupling but what if my tomorrow uh, the scenario changes completely and uh, now i want the the logging pattern to change or maybe i want it to be dynamic i don't want to use text logger every time maybe based on some payment method let's say if the payment was uh, uh, some cash way then i would like to log my errors a different way and if it was through credit card i want to log my errors completely different in which i would like to store the credit card last four digits for some processing be whatever it is but the dynamism will not be available here because we are hard coding this value for that if we want to get our text logger dynamically at the runtime we would have to get those instance details that which object should be created at the runtime through some configuration or yeah through a, some configuration yeah Let, let's keep it that way for now but how about unit testing it's really important for every application to be unit testable you know it's a market trend right now that uh, the uh, test driven development which is a completely a uh, different area or uh, i would say it's a very good approach for developing applications in which we write unit tests first for the logic and then we continue with the implementation but in our scenario what will happen if we if i try to write a unit test around this method so to demonstrate that i actually have written a unit test maybe i'm not that very good with the unit test as of now but let i just tried to get an idea around it okay so i am using n unit and unit framework for writing my unit test and we have commerce test class here in the setup we have all i have done is just creating a new commerce class instance nothing much and uh, with this i have duplicated our dummy order to 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 yeah here is my order object just some dummy data and i'm testing this process order so this method returns me a boolean as you can see and uh, that boolean tells me whether the payment was successful or the order was failed okay so let's minimize this let's go to our text ex test explorer yep so let me try and debug this test okay just bear with me my system is a really slow let's see how much it takes to bring us to this debug point so what we going to notice over here is that uh, the because our commerce class is tightly coupled with other three dependencies what will happen that when we will be creating this object for our test purpose not actually the we'll see we are not in the deployment or we are not actual implementation scenario right now we are not running our application we want to unit test we want to run a test around our logic but if you move ahead and see the now the commerce object is created let's hover this yep so inside commerce we have three objects created one is for credit card processor email notifier and text logger and inside credit card processor we have currency converter as well but if you notice we are not having proxies over here and if i dive in let's go yep and inside my process order if i go to, to, to yep now you see i'm inside process payment and we are not mocking anything we are not generating any proxies we are actually going to make a payment isn't it really bad suppose if there was some actual core logic talking to some database and connecting to some merchant for the processing of payment we would have hampered our data in a really bad way so this is how 
tight coupling is affecting or adversely affecting my whole scenario so if i just bypass everything as of now we would in this notify customer we would have actually sent an email to the customer which is really bad because while unit testing i would uh, not like to just update my data or directly communicating with my client i would rather like to use some mocked up implementations of my core functionalities which would be replicas but won't be an actual implementation what i'm trying to say is that our unit uh, application should be unit testable and we should be able to check or uh, uh, write a test around each and every single logic that we have in our application but with tightly coupled applications it's really not going to happen not that easy okay so in this video i will just stop by here and uh, in my next video we'll be looking at how we can modify this application to be a little more better than this one and we will then try and write a unit test around it and see how embracing abstractions and using interfaces enable us to you know write a unit testable and loosely coupled application i would say decoupled application so i would say that's all for now yep thank you for watching the video and if you have any questions or comments around this whole thing that we have gone through please drop by in the comments thank you have a good day